I had parents who, in spite of the depression, no matter what the economy was, hardworking, dedicated parents whose first thought was always of me. Uh, they made the best kind of home and gave me the best kind of love that I try to give to my own children. I was born in Europe. I was eight and a half when I came to this country. It took 14 days in the ocean. I was only a little girl, I have eight and a half, which to me that ocean was so big, it scared the life out of me. But it was wonderful. Once I got to New York, I really wanted to go back because I was lost. It was a different country to me. I didn't know what to do with myself. And what was it? My father bribed me with a scoop of ice cream. And that's how he got me here. I write. I write, I write, I draw. That's my work, that's my work, that's my work, that's my work, that's my work. I think everything up there except the Sawyer and the uh, ballerinas are, are my work. I like to go shopping. I love to buy good clothes. Anything I can do to help somebody. If someone is sicker than me, I try to help them. And if somebody needs me, maybe they'll help me. Yes. I always look for love. I like the young rabbits. <laughs> Why shouldn't I? We're all alive. We're human beings. And even if it's friendship, you always look for companionship. They're, that lobby is the source of more gossip and more... Uh, they dream up things. Well, anyway, since I met this man and... Uh, that's the talk of the building. Like, am I the first woman to have a boyfriend? I'm single, he's single, I'm a widow, he's a bachelor. We're two single people, harming no one. My children love him. And uh, the, the whole place, that every time I walk out of the building with him, or he comes to see me, there, <laughs> Mrs. Berger's boy, that's Mrs. Berger's boyfriend. Oh, who's Mrs. Berger? Oh, you know. Yeah. You know, it's disgusting. The only regret I have that I lost my family and my son, but which that I cannot help, because that belongs to God. And if I'm a true Catholic, we can't cry over that. We live from day to day. Now it's my turn, my turn to live a little bit and enjoy my life. Everybody has a few regrets. There are always situations you think you might have handled better. I used to think I was a little too rough on my son when he was growing up. Uh, he was um, an exceptionally active boy, but I guess all boys are active. I wasn't used to it. I was an only child. Not anymore. Sometimes you have to get a little lonely, but you could always find it. There's always a way to find something. We got a coffee shop. We have a, a place where you go and eat. We have dancing. We have people sitting in the, downstairs. What else do we need? The only thing we need is God's love and help. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>